Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it. And that's what we are here to do. Please do not go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Ooh wee, so Wood will buy a rose but won't buy a bouquet of flowers. Now y'all, we about to talk about it. I don't know if y'all seen this little short the old Peach McIntyre done dropped, right? But Peach is out here and she's bragging that her husband bought her a rose. You know, the rose, the toy to go bzz, bzz, and does other things than sitting in a vase. Okay, so y'all, let me just tell you what blows my mind. Number one, that you share these kind of details with your audience. Like, how ratchet, how nasty, how disgusting. Then you're showing that you're wiping it and washing it off in a shower because you just used it. <sighs> when I tell y'all I about passed out because I'm just thinking, how disgusting, how utterly gross. This is weird. This is just TMI, but this is peach, right? This is what she likes to do. Also, one side of my brain is saying, well, your husband will surely go buy you a toy, but he won't buy you a bouquet of flowers. How weird is that? How weird is it that your husband, right, won't go into Publix and buy you a thing of flowers like you are always complaining about, but you have to buy them yourself. And then yet he'll go into a SEX store and buy you something that will keep you away from him, that will keep you occupied, that will keep you off him, that will keep you from laying in the bed saying that you want the kids out the room so that you and him can be alone. He's like, no, go be alone with yourself. I'm going to guess the willy dilly over on the hotel. Y'all remember that desk over there? It ain't doing its job. I'm going to take a guess at the wood that you singing about that it can't do its job because if it did then why you got to have all these other toys on the side these are the things that I'm thinking right and I'm trying not to laugh because it really is funny I also seem to think he ain't doing a dent right he is like throwing a hot dog down the hallway like I said that thing is whoa out toe out and dangling on the ground you shaking it you baking it and you doing everything else with it and then it's baking up extra stuff but anywho the fact that you have to make a short to show that your husband shows you any kind of affection and it's in the form of buying something so that he doesn't have to touch you he can say guess what girl go on over in that shower and do what you do and leave me alone that's what it's saying one minute she happy one minute she got tears in her eyes the next minute she's sitting in the closet the next day she's laying in the bed rubbing on wood chest the next day she's complaining about all the kids the next day she wants to be a millionaire it's an up and down emotional roller coaster and when i watch peach one thing i realize is she thinks that sex is love and sex is not always love yeah it has some affection in it but there are people who do things like that for a living and have no shame in their game there are people who just need that to get their rocks off and keep pushing there's one night stands every night so that doesn't uh, mean love. Sometimes you need things like financial support, emotional support. Sometimes you need someone to tell you that you're beautiful, to go buy you a dozen of roses that, you know, you can put in a vase and look at and put up for a later date for an anniversary or a special gift. Sometimes you need someone to just genuinely be there for you. And since Wood can't do any of that, then that's all you have to fall back on is your SEX life. You have to make songs about it. You have to make videos about it. You have to talk about it. You have to show it and you have to go love. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I had to get out here and talk to y'all about this and see if y'all seen it. One thing about me, honey, we're going to go live tomorrow and we're going to talk about it all. And that is a promise. We're going to be out here going in on it. But I was like, let me call my folks and talk to them for a second about this. See what they think. Because, honey, it's a hot mess. I'm going to see y'all in the comments.